What is this? Okay, there's something written on the map hanging on the wall. Keys for that. Okay, copied on the map. Okay. This door's locked. We need three keys to open this door. So we are going to go on those locations marked on our map. Okay, there's a... Uh, so let's do it. Follow me, everyone, to the promised land. Okay, which one should I go to first? Um, I'll try that line in the center there, that alleyway. to it. Okay, that's the first alleyway. We're going to go to the next one across the street from here. I'm hearing them monsters somewhere. They're watching me. Waiting for the right moment to strike. So let's be on our toes. Okay, this should be it here. through this door. This is where one of the three keys are. Right next to this severed dog head. Okay, and a health drink. Okay, the next one on our list, we're going to try that circle there. On the right hand side of the map. to the right side of the map. There's another key there inside of the trunk of a car. Okay, let's head down here. Head this way. Go across this wooden plank. Grab the key in the mailbox. that guy. There he is. Couldn't get him. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. I'm running low on health. I've got five, so I'll use one just for the heck of it. I really like the way you maneuver in this game. Yeah. It's a lot better than Sega games, like, well, like the older Resident Evil games, you walk sideways like this, you can also, um, you can also walk and shoot, you can move sideways and run, you can, uh, so there was a way of, uh, you can move and shoot, it's pretty cool. A lot of people don't give it, give it enough credit. Yeah. It's very well done, if you get used to it. Okay, up here, we'll find a car. One last key, and he's guarding it. Okay, that's it. We found all three keys. Now let's go back to the dog house. Uh, the flying 
shitholes are everywhere. Get away from me! Get away from me? Go away. Alrighty then. Um, I'll just keep moving straight. After we open that door with three keys, we are on our way to the school after that, so stay tuned. Should be getting closer. Yep, we're getting there. Almost. Almost. Something was weird. To the next door. Right over here. There's our house. That was close. Okay, let's save. And open this door. free. What? It's getting dark again? What's going on? Okay, flashlight mode activated. Okay, two health drinks. Sweet. Take this. around here, so we're just going to run for it. Just ignore them. Let's look for the school. They're close by. I'm going to head this direction. Move across the street. And onto the sidewalk, and then keep going straight. And to our right, we will reach the school here in just a few seconds. Two seconds or less. Stairs, ignore the dogs. And into the school we go. Ambient sound design here is just masterful. I love it. Yeah. I think that those are the big selling points on this game's scare factor and sense of dread. Is its is its uh, darkness. Um, it's almost claustrophobic atmosphere, and its and its soundtrack are a big selling point.
for a game I play for, and for a PlayStation One game in 1999. This this is ahead of its time. And there was nothing else like Silent Hill at the time. Yeah, it was pretty crazy.